zero degrees. So the process is going to be simple. We're going to just go through this, uh, go, bump up the spark timing as much as we can until we see some knock count. Um, I usually don't go much higher than 25, 26 degrees timing in the last three columns here for my wide open throttle naturally aspirated uh, portion of tuning. Uh, that's going to be sufficient. Anything higher than that, uh, you're either going to be on race gas or you're going to find that your knock sensor may not even be working at all and it's not reporting any kind of uh, feedback. So we have to be careful that that's not the case either. But uh, 25, 26 degrees will be your maximum here. And we're going to be ready then after we've set up our fuel table in the, uh, the last columns here and then our, uh, our, our ignition timing table. We found are close to our maximum brake torque and we have uh, went through that uh, looking, tracing back through here. We see no knock count. And, uh, and and we're going to be ready to go into our next portion here of locking our cam angle here at 10 degrees, again at the last three columns. Then we're going to go into our low cam map here in our uh, our zero degree. We're going to copy the last three columns, move into our table here. We're going to paste them. Then we're going to go in and we're going to up we're going to upload that. We're going to make sure if we're using that online live tuning features that we update the tables that we want to live tune. And again, we're going to see that. A little asterisk here in green if we've uploaded, we flashed it and we're live with the table. We're going to be leaving or copying and pasting the values from our zero degree to our 10 degree. This is going to show us how much more efficient or more fueling demand that our 10 degree has from our zero degree. So as we rotate and request more cam angle here, it's going to get to a point where the higher cam angle may actually lose power and lose torque, and therefore we don't need as much. Uh, injector millisecond at it or in, uh, as much fuel being pumped into the engine because we don't we don't need to have as much fuel at a, at a lower power level as we do in a higher power level. So if we copy and paste our last three columns to our next highest uh, table doing our watt tuning or wide open throttle tuning, we're going to find that it's going to probably be lean. We're going to have to add some more fuel. But if it's not, then we're going to know that that next cam angle is not going to be efficient and we're not going to be able to use it. So for example, once we get up here to our 30, 40, and 50 degree ranges, usually above 30, this is going to be a sweet spot for making good power and good torque on our low cam. Once we jump up here, if we copied and pasted the values from our 30, we pasted them into our 40, and we want to do a pool, we're going to find that we may not be able to run the values from our 30 degree. You might find that it's actually going to be rich. And if that's the case, then we're going to find that the 40 degree cam angle is not going to be optimal. We're not going to be using 40 degree, if at all possible, on our low cam operation because we don't have the fueling demand there from that table. Now, the other thing we can also do 